first you have to download the movie and your movie's video codec it's better to be H.264 because that saves us a lot of time we don't have to re-encode that and for the audio stream remember you have to have the stereo AAC tracks or else your iPad will never able to play the movie with sound the AC3 surround track is only available for the Apple TV or something can connect to a AV receiver with 5.1 speakers. Next important thing is subtitles. The subtitles, uh, if you purchased a legal copy from the iTunes store, you probably won't get subtitles that you need. Uh, as an example, and I am a Chinese, so I searched the internet for the subtitles for us, the great and the powerful. And I pick one. I think this could be better. And download it. Uh, one thing I should remind you the subtitle have, I mean, non English subtitle have some major problem when you're going to cross platform, uh, cross language, and cross platform. For example, this Chinese simplified Chinese subtitles have problem to display itself correctly in my MacBook. Since my MacBook is configured in English, so the Chinese won't be displayed correctly. For this issue, you must include the Chinese subtitles or Japanese or Korean something not in English. You must include this subtitle into UTF-8 with bond and the UTF-8 with bone will solve this problem. Whenever you transfer this test to any language platform or any operational system like a Mac to Windows or Mac to Linux uh, it won't have problem. Now the for the main task is to change the video container since the items only work with mp4 container and uh, mov container so we fire a tool called mp4 tools and the tools is free for some limitations and the price of the tools is not very high drag the MKV file into the MP4 tools and click both channels uh, select the language you want since we already have H.264 videos in this MKV so we choose video to pass through and the audio we only have surround channel AC3 so it's only available for the Apple TV so we need to add a two channel track the two channel track is for the non surround sound system like a, a PC or your iPad then we start to convert it and by the way if you have a DTS soundtrack in the MKV movie, you have to convert into AC3 5.1 because the Apple TV only only capable play the uh, AC3, not the DTS. And never use that multi-channel AAC. That that's AAC 5.1. It have problem with my uh, AV receiver, it won't work correctly. For short, use two channel AAC for general use. Use AC3 5.1 for Apple TV surround system. 
Now, as we see, we only took 15 minutes to complete this task to convert the audio and the video container into a MP4 container. So we close this tool and see what we got. And we should got a M4V video with exactly the same quality of video and uh, two soundtracks one with uh, AAC stereo track and uh, one AC3 surround channel and since the extension name is quite odd I don't like it I like it in MP4 so I rename it into MP4. Use MP4. Now we got the basic MP4 that able that items able to play it, but it's not items friendly. As you can see, the friendly movie it should be have it should have covers, should have tags. And for this test, we don't copy it into my library. As you can see, it won't appear in the movie section. It's only appear in the home movie section. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, I drag into my current desktop. Since I'm recording, I'm actually I'm encoding video on the fly. So my MacBook, my, the performance of my MacBook is slowed down. I redo this again. I drag this MP4 file in into my items. As you can see, it's popped up in my home video section and it don't have cover it don't have information of the movie and so I don't think it's friendly a friendly movie should like this it's just looks like uh, the legal one you purchase from the item store so I delete this thing And now I'm going to edit this MP4 file with a tool called Subler. And this tool is, is for dealing with subtitles and uh, tags in MP4 files. As you can see, we have three tracks, one video, two audio. And make sure only default track is clicked. So I unclick this surround track. If you click all the track, uh, the video file will have problem for play on Apple TV like things. So I drag in those subtitles and I change the Chinese one into Chinese. Uh, unclick this box. Okay, maybe I choose English track as default one. Press Command and S for save. It took some seconds. Okay. Now we have subtitles and for the artwork, I mean covers and the text, we can search with this tool. So we search the movie name with us, the great and powerful, and click search. And done. There is a movie and click add. Choose a cover and I choose the first one. Select as artwork. Okay, almost done.
the only tag you have to manually import is I think is the sort name the name is used for sort uh, for example you download the three episodes of Batman since it's not the name of Batman is not Batman 1, Batman 2 or Batman 3 the name may be something different so the three movies should be you want them sort together with one two three but it's not named one two three so you name it manually with batman one batman two and batman three so in your items should be sorted into this order and the other settings make sure the movie kind is movie and the hd is set to uh, correct resolution and press command and S save again okay that's it as you can see we've just created a items friendly mp4 movie and then we drag into my items again it, it's displayed in the movie section it's just like others looks perfect one last thing is to have chapter 5 if you want to make your movie more perfect you have to create a text file looks like this with time code in, in the first thing the name of the chapter It's a text file. Then we fire up the Subler two. And drag the chapter file, the TXT file into the Subler. And press Command S to save. Make sure the click box is not clicked. Then we back to items and play the movie. As you can see, it generates quite great thumbnails for each chapter. And you can navigate it through the chapter. And the chapter works great in Apple TV, by the way.